Hi, my name is Stephanie Stanku, and I'm in Mr. Premax Tuesday, Thursday, 3 p.m. Bio 202 class, and this is my model project on the cardiac cycle. So for my project, I wanted to create a cardboard cutout that would help someone who's studying this um, cardiac cycle to be able to learn the uh, information more um, efficiently and in an easier way. On the left, I just included the four stages of the cycle, which I will go into detail in shortly. Uh, the bottom left, just two um, vocab words, systole and diastole, that are very important in um, understanding the chapter. Um, the middle, I just hand drew three diagrams of the heart um, as it's going through the cardiac cycle. And then on the right-hand side, I just included a couple of vocab words for someone that is um, setting this chapter to be able to understand um, things in an easier manner. So as I said earlier, the cardiac cycle has four stages, the first of which being ventricular filling. In this stage, uh, the ventricles are passively filling with blood, and uh, very soon the SA node will fire, which will cause the atria to depolarize and contract, forcing or kicking any additional blood into the ventricles. The ventricles now contain something called end diastolic volume, which I included on the right, and it's just the volume of the blood um, within the ventricles after ventricular diastole. The second phase of the cardiac cycle, uh, ventricular systole, begins with isovolumetric contraction of the ventricles. And in this phase, the uh, there's actually not any blood moving. Um, however, the atria are repolarizing and relaxing. The ventricles are depolarizing and then um, furthermore contracting. And then the rising pressure will close the AV valves, and this produces the lub of the lub-dub sound that we hear when listening to someone's heartbeat. The lub is also known as systole or S1, and this occurs when the, ventric when the ventricles are contracting. Still in the second phase of ventricular systole um, is the third step, which is ventricular ejection. In this step, the rising pressure will open the semilunar valves, and there will be a rapid ejection of blood, also known as the stroke volume, or the amount of blood that is pumped by the left ventricle in one contraction. After the um, rapid ejection of blood occurs, there will be something called uh, end systolic volume uh, within the ventricles, which is just the volume of blood inside the ventricles after ventricular systole. The last um, and final phase of the cardiac cycle, early diastole, is also known as isovolumetric relaxation of the ventricles. In this phase, blood is not entering any of the ventricles. Rather, the ventricles are repolarizing and relaxing. The semilunar valves will then close, producing the dub of the lub-dub sound we hear, or also known as diastole or the S2 sound. Uh, in this phase, the AV valves will remain closed and the ventricles will expand, but they do not fill with blood yet. So that um, is the cardiac cycle, and now I will just give you a closer look to the diagrams that I've drawn.